I hide in a log cabin with a large group of strangers. We don't know what's outside, but it's making us pretty nervous. Channel 4 make a terrible fuss of appointing a dwarf to present all of their children's programs. He turns out to be really rather good, exceptionally engaging and handsome. A long-term documentary of his life is commissioned. I go to the park. It's very bright and looks like plastic. Like a cartoon. The grass is very green and the sky is very blue and the ducks have left a lot of duck shit all over a little island in the river. I sit on the grass and explain to George Bush and Donald Rumsfeld how ducks stand on one leg to avoid getting shit on both feet. They're very interested and ask me to demonstrate. Market, I buy weird fluffy toys for my little brother. They all have ineffectual limbs, grey, threadbare, fur, irregular numbers of eyes and ears. I am delighted that the supermarket stocks them since I know that my brother has real life creatures like this living in his backyard. I wander about barefoot in the duck shit, then feel guilty because I promised my friends in the log cabin I wouldn't talk to George Bush, and now I have. Vivian Westwood's new collection and Channel 4 are covering the event for the documentary naturally. and I have a ridiculously melodramatic argument. We're both like Laurence Olivier doing Greek tragedy. All flailing arms and accusatory eyes. The lighting is suitably stark. We're spotlit from below. All of the clothes are black and yellow, striking geometric patterns on enormous angular outfits. Westwood explains to the camera that if she can see the faces of the people in the audience, she gets nervous. So everyone has had to come wearing an animal head over their evening wear. The camera pans out for the last shot. 